Good morning. Uh, good morning and good morning. Um, M O R N I N G and M O U R N I N G. So we're in the Lenten period now, starting yesterday, and Lent is a fun time for <laughs> for us all to focus on uh, repentance and mourning, and. I definitely feel like oftentimes the Lent gets turned into like, hey, what are you going to not eat? Or what are you going to not drink? What are you going to fast from? And then sometimes it's random. Um, and then hopefully sometimes it's uh, genuinely consecrated. And uh, for me, I felt led this year not to uh, fast from anything. I'm fasting from a lot of things right now anyway. Um, but to add. Not subtract anything, but add things. And this was just add this consideration, this daily consideration of what the season is for. Really just focus on the reason for the season, which is uh, repentance and mourning. It begins with ashes. And I think it's easy for us guys, not guys meaning males, but us, comma, guys, comma, to get caught up in a sort of eternal summer thinking. You know, maybe especially out here in California and maybe just in this, in this sort of uh, artistic community and whatnot. I think it's really easy sometimes to get caught up in this, let's focus on the positive, uh, let's dream the biggest dreams. Let's let's chase in a in a in a uh, seemingly glorious direction. But I think there is great fruit and great truth to be derived from these seasons, where we focus our energies for a concentrated time on that which is broken. Because again, you can heal nothing until you discover that it's broken, or until you admit that it's broken. I was reading in Joel, Job a little bit this morning. Uh, verse 1, Job 24. Why does the Almighty not set times for judgment? Why must those who know him look in vain for such days? I think sometimes it seems like this whole world is wildly unjust. And indeed it is. And the sad thing is we can live in pockets of it in which we really never have to confront that or even think on it. And I know the active political uh, injustice fighters of the world would probably scoff at the thought of us feeling like we're doing something about it just by thinking about it. But by ignoring it, we're doing even less than thinking about it. And it is deeply in God's heart to correct injustice. Injustice... Uh, Ha bit has no uh, love. <laughs> There's no love in God. God is love, but God does not love injustice. God hates injustice, and he hates the unjust. And this world is flooded with injustice. Flooded. Literally flooded. There are wars. Uh, there's a war going on in the Congo for about 12 years or more. Uh, a war. Um, over five million people have been killed. There are unjust wars being fought by our country right now, uh, in which tens of thousands, I think at this point probably hundreds of thousands of people, hundred thousand some odd people have been killed. Combatants and non-combatants, and who cares whether they're combatants and non-combatants? You know what I mean? This is, these are human lives. The life of children is of no value in this country. Literally millions. But we kill millions of children a year and give it the stamp of government says it's okay. Not nearly every government on the face of this earth is based upon principles of injustice. And certainly the most uh, successful uh, societal organizations, governments or what have you, that have ever existed have been founded on 
principles of vast injustice, of oppression, of uh, working class, poor, slaves, uh, human rights violations are out the yin yang, history of violence and participation in, in violence uh, out the yin yang. We are a corrupt people at our core and we can hide away in our co corners of eternal summer but it's not the truth of the matter. Really even our ability to hide is uh, is evidence of an even deeper corruption. There are forces in this world that don't want you to think about it. That don't want you to focus on it. That don't want you to pray for it. That don't want you to do anything about it. And I don't mean to put that on the continuum like that. Because I think prayer can be just as powerful as physical action sometimes. I think they should be conjoined more often than not. And this is a total bummer, one of these things. But... There's a reason that Christ's sacrifice came in the spirit of injust of justice, uh, but was brought about by injustice. Christ died because of a, a poorly run trial and false conviction. But he did not convict us falsely of our deep injustice. We can maybe get in tomorrow, who knows if we'll even will, but and as you dwell upon it, as you pray on it today, folks, please just join me in it. Let us pray for an end to this injustice. Because I'm in your own life, and the injustice you also do. And this can be in major ways, by supporting financially corporations, organizations who um, oppress. Shout out to Illinois uh, for a little teeny little rabbit punch against injustice by um, getting rid of the death penalty this week. But there's so much more work to be done. Non-stop. Look to your own life about the injustice that you commit. And if you think you don't commit any, then look deeper. Because we're part of the problem. Christ came to surrender to in, into that, literally submitted to injustice that he might sacrifice for us. How many of us would do the same? Almost none. We would fight against wrongful conviction, wouldn't we? It just bristles the very, uh, our very soul to our core. But let us pray this week for the, bro the brokenness of the world. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, Lord. On earth as it is in heaven. In the ideal. In the new earth. In the renewed world. But look to yourself as well. What injustices do you commit daily? Again, is it supporting? Is it purchasing? Do you use your money towards unjust causes? How about you personally? Do you... Uh, have you ever made out with a person for the simple pleasure of the thing with someone who is more into you than you were into them? Have you ever used any form of emotional blackmail, guilt trips, silent treatments to get what you want? That is all the self-same sin nature. I will do whatever by any means necessary just to get what I desire. We're all oppressors. We are all unjust in our very nature. Only by the cleanliness of the sacrifice of Christ can we draw towards justice. And not in really even beyond justice, into mercy and grace. But don't skip any steps. Let us sit in the season in ashes and mourn for this broken world but let our tears clear the ash from our face and let our laughter be in joyful worship of God and celebratory defiance of those who would cling to darkness peace be unto you his peace be unto you and none other any other peace is falsehood Amen. And say la. Mm -mm 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 Done.